my god guys welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning a lot but before we begin with the video guys it's very important to me that you guys hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow hit that like button if you find this video useful and don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin oh my god Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about the segment addition postulate. We're going to be studying what it says or what it states, um, how to actually use it, and we're going to be using some problems that will help us understand this segment addition postulate and its application. So let's begin. So in this case, we first have to define the segment addition postulate and what it says. If points A, B, and C are on the same line, so they are collinear, with B between A and C, then AB plus BC is going to be equal to AC. In other words, guys, what the postulate tells us is that if we have a point B between other two points or endpoints A and C, the distance between A and B added to the distance between B and C is going to give us the total distance between the two endpoints. So let's try doing the following problem. Let's give AB an amount of 2x minus 4 and let's assign to BC an amount of x plus 1. Now, let's suppose that AC is 9 meters long. And then they ask us what is going to be the value for x, what is going to be the value for a, b, and what is going to be the value for segment b, c. Okay, so we have three things we have to find out. x, a, b, and b, c. Okay, guys, remember because of the postulate that you can say that a, b plus b, c is going to be equal to a, c. So a, b plus BC is going to be equal to AC. Now, we know that AB has a value of 2x minus 4. BC has a value of x, x plus 1. And AC has a value of 9. So now we have to solve for x. So like terms, 2x and x get added. That is 3x. And then minus 4 plus 1, that is going to be minus 3. And that is going to be 9. We pass this negative 3 to the other side adding. So 3x is going to be 9 plus 3. 3x is going to be equal to 12. Because we have to solve for x and the 3 is multiplying the x, it's going to pass to the other side dividing. So 12 divided by 3 is going to be equal to 4 and that is going to be our value for x. Now what is the distance AB? AB is going to be 2 times x which is 4 minus 4. So that is going to be 8 minus 4 which is again going to be a value of 4. And then BC is going to be 4 plus 1 equal to 5. As you can see clearly this is not on scale but when you add 4 and 5 it does give you 9 that means that it is the right answer now let's tackle a challenge a different kind of challenge okay more points so now in this problem we have points a b c d and e so in this case guys they tell us that a c has a value of 16 and they ask us they ask us what is the value of x what is the length of a b b d and c e okay let's try doing that okay first of all we have that a c has a value of 16 but we also know that a c is going to be equal to a b plus BC. So AB plus BC. 
AC is going to be equal to 2x minus 4 plus, and BC is going to be x plus 1. Then again, we have 16 is equal to 2x plus x, that's going to be 3x, and then minus 4 plus 1, that is going to be minus 3. Now, that is going to be 16 plus 3 is equal to 3x. Now, that is going to be 19 is equal to 3x, and x is going to be equal to 19 divided by 3. So in this case, our value for x is approximately 6,3 meters. Now, because now we have found our value for x, we can actually also find the value of AB. AB is going to be 2x minus 4. So we just substitute the value of x, 6,3. And then when we multiply 2 times 6.3 minus 4, that is going to give us the distance of 8.6 meters. And that is going to be our answer for AB. The other question they ask us is, what is the distance of BD? Then again, we have to remember that BD is going to be the same as BC plus CD. And I'm going to write it down. So BC is going to be X plus 1, and CD is going to be X plus 9, meaning that BD is going to be 2x plus 10. Then we have to solve by substituting the value we already know of x. So 2 times 6.3 plus 10 is going to give us the answer of 22.6 meters. And now we just have one question left, which is CE. And we know that CE is going to be CD plus DE. Again, CE is going to be CD plus DE, which is going to be equal to x plus 9 plus 2x plus 3. Then x and 2x is going to be 3x, and then 9 and 3 is going to be 12, meaning that when we substitute for the value of 6.3 plus 12, we're going to get a value of 3 times 6.3 plus 12, and that is going to give us 30,9, almost 31 meters. And that's pretty much it, guys. So as you can see in the segment addition postulate, what you do is that you have to take into account that when the amounts are collinear, you can actually add every single piece of the segment in order to find the great segment. If we wanted to find out what is the length of A to E? We just have to add the individual segments A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, E. So that's it for today, guys. Try practicing every single day to boost your math skills. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!